Boxes, we need these boxes. Through my careers, I gave up uh, the opportunity to continue on in the industry that I was doing for pretty much my lifetime. I went to chef school at an older age. I opened up a catering company, which showed me the amount of food being wasted. It's a lot of stuff, man. All right, what else have we got protein-wise? Look at this, bow tie pasta already done. Branching off to other chefs, like-minded people, I asked them the same question, how much food are they destroying? So when it came to a point where there was an abundance of food being destroyed, I said, man, we gotta do something about it. I am Chef Jared Gordon here at the Feed It For Pink Chican Grocery Store Big Green Coffee Shop in Toronto, Canada. The team that we are, Food Rescue Heroes, we're gonna be going around and we are going to be capturing each and every kiosk provider that comes through this place and says, hey man, I'm showing my food all weekend to the, all the great people, but what happens to all the food that's sitting in the back of the truck that I don't want to take to Montreal because it's defrosted or such or however it be. I opened up a shipping container transformed into a kitchen where I provided nutritionally balanced meals seven days a week. Children, teenagers, young mothers, young families, it displaced people that were not able to feed themselves. So we fed two, 300 people out of one location. So again, need to feed continued on. My plan is, is to stop food going into the landfills, feed all the hungry bellies that I can possibly uh, get my hands on and uh, offer a safe space for people to meet because everyone has a story. You know, following the Good Samaritans Law here in Canada in 1994, a law was in place that if any food that's still edible and in good standing can be donated without liability. So what that means is I hand you an apple, you receive it under good faith, I'm knowing it came from a good source, there's no liability. It's about giving. This is what we're doing through Feed of Four, is exposing how food can be donated without the stigma of understanding that you could be sued for giving food. We all know what good food is, so we're trying to stop people from being complacent and give them a new reason to redonate their food or find a new home for it. Everything in my grocery store, we're at a 94% recycled rate. The 6% that leaves out through the back door is packaging that we've recycled or we have had rescued from other locations. When you come into our Pay What You Can free grocery store, bakery and coffee shop, you're able to fill up your red basket for whatever you need. And in this red basket is enough food to feed up to four people for the day. So you can come back every day and obtain incredible organic produce and products. We have full pastries, full bread. Uh, we have all the grains that you need. We have coffee donated to us. So when you come in, you get to take bread, pastries, coffee, home vegetables, and it's out. I mean, imagine feeding hundreds of people a day for free. Well, for the ones that can't afford it, we appreciate it because what they do is help keep the lights on. Your choices of blemished, beautiful bananas. Yes, the child or a monkey might say, I'm used to the perfect stuff. But the thing is, is when there's more black and brown and bruising, there's more potassium and more flavor profiles can come out of it. So bake with it, make a shake. A store won't utilize these because the first top three layers are yellow. But underneath that, I mean, when you shave down a Brussels sprout and you fry it up to whatever you need or, or steam it, it's gonna taste the same. It just doesn't look pretty. We work tight with a company called Whole Foods Your Fill. So Whole Foods supplies us what they would normally consider trash. And it's not necessarily them, it's the consumer that has chosen to only have the perfect edible products. We have a new shipment of vegetables coming in every single day. We bring in about 1,200 to 1,500 pounds of vegetables and about 400 pounds of pastries. We have the first pay what you can free vending machine that vends uh, mason jars full of creations that we put into them through our kitchen. I mean, why waste anything when we can store them from years in your cupboards? What we love to make through our facilities 
It's these biodegradable meals. They are into these packaging where organic products can be shipped out to anybody through the Feed the Future program. FeedTheFuture.ca allows anyone to obtain nutritionally balanced meals now delivered to them for $2.50 a meal. We're just looking for shipping partners that would say, hey man, we'll help you ship these out. That's all it takes. We got the food, we got the packaging, we got the time. We just need some help with shipping. So sponsorships is where it's gonna become. This is where we're moving. It's the future. Feed It Forward has a free food app that's going to be launched to the world. It's working in 13 countries right now where it allows anyone to obtain free food. What I want is the world to share this app because it's free so everyone can share food instead of destroying it. People are afraid of change because you have the outcome. Which is the outcome? Failure or success? By learning that you tried your best, you did with your best and you didn't make it that far or didn't achieve your goal, try again. You keep on going back and trying, it'll come to you one day or another. And that's what happens here. Every day I work as hard as I can to make the lives of many others and myself better. And that's just by keep on giving your free time and what you can afford. Get out of your sandbox and play in someone else's or go pop your balloon that you have around you and uh, start swimming or flying. There's hungry people out there and the atmosphere is being destroyed by the emissions that are being coming from our landfills. So if we make a conscious effort to work together and find new methods of utilizing products, no matter what it is, it's from electronics, clothing to food, it can be done. But it takes someone to start that catalyst. It takes someone to showcase how it can be done and how easy it can be. And that's why here at Feed Afford, we can make it easy. You know, volunteer programs to learn is free. Just gotta wanna do it.